All right, so here we are. Here is the buttercream. Just let you marvel in that beautiful sight for a second. Super creamy and delicious. All right, but now let's fill this bad boy up in here, okay? So I just like to take it and just plop it in there. That's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna plop it on in there. All right, now that I have some in here, I'm going to take it and bang it. This is going to help get out any air bubbles and like allow the buttercream to fill in any of those open spaces like you see here. And so if you want this to sit well into these containers. And so we can fill this up as much as possible. So these containers hold about half a batch of the buttercream. This is probably a little too much. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the lid Put it right on top and now it is sealed and good to go you can leave this sitting out on your counter for a couple of days or you can put it in the freezer to save for later or in the refrigerator i don't really put it in the refrigerator that often but you can put it in the refrigerator if you please all right y'all so it has been about two days i put this into the refrigerator to let it thaw down and then i took this out this morning it is now what 10 o'clock and i took this about out probably about 10 or 11 o'clock this morning um so it's been out for about 12 hours it has fully thawed out um i cheated and i took a peek <laughs> um but yeah it's it's fully thawed out and so i just want to show you what it's like now that it's been completely thawed out Okay, so here it is, and, and I'm just gonna scoop in here just so you can see what it looks like, like fresh out the tub, okay? So you can see I, I did cheat, I already scooped into it. <laughs> but okay, so I'm just gonna scoop into that. I don't know if you can see that. But it's still creamy. You don't really need to re-whip it. You don't really need to, I hope I don't drop this off the um, the spatula, but there's no need to re-whip it. It's still just as smooth and creamy as it was before. So like I can literally just now use this right out the gate. Now, if for some reason you do find that it still has, um, that it does have bubbles in it, because like maybe you didn't pound it down um, well enough, just pop it back into the um mixer on low the lowest setting and just let it whip up for a little bit and then it'll knock out those little extra air bubbles but as you see here we are pretty good to go i'm good to go with that so yeah so i hope you enjoyed that there are some videos that you can watch of me using my buttercream um but yeah i hope you enjoyed that and i hope that it was very helpful Peace.